Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here's Drez and Big Nate. Mm. Indeed, Bruce Day Tuesday is upon us once again. And it is me and Big Nate. Poppin' Tops in the studio, and it is, of course, brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. Today, we are celebrating National Pretzel Day. I know it's one of those silly ones that was on that stupid promotion calendar that, uh, you know, there's all these dumb days. It's National Pancake Day and whatever, but honestly, when it comes to pretzels, man, I am a fan. And since beer and pretzel goes together well, we figure we should celebrate. I, I would have fought you so hard if uh, it, if you said no to this one, just because the history of you and, and, and pretzels for the longest time, it seemed like any time you were out at a remote, no matter where you were at, you would find your way to the soft pretzels. So if you had uh, opted out, I would have been really frustrated. Well, and luckily today, the soft pretzels found me because Nate, he's got a, you know, he knows his way around the kitchen and he actually made soft pretzels, which I... And I'm, honestly, I'm surprised I haven't taken a bite of it already, but I'm holding off to tell you that, yes, we also do have the Snyder Beer, which is a collaboration with Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, and believe it or not, Snyder's of Hanover, which is when you think of pretzels that you buy in a bag at the store, that's kind of the one that comes to mind. This one is the malt beverage with natural flavors, batch brewed with Snyder's of Hanover, mini pretzels right in there. This is their Pretzel Marzen which is kind of more like what I guess you would think of when you think of, you know, pretzels is kind of the German sort of style of stuff. So it kind of works out. They, see, mine, mine's a little more experimental, and uh, I'm, I'm all here for it. I've got the Snyder Beer Pretzel Fruit. At least I'm assuming what that umlaut CH means, fruit. And uh, then you go over, it's brewed with passion fruit and guava. So... Uh, Probably exactly spot on, 4.5% ABV. I'm really excited to see how this uh, pairs with a pretzel. I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> how is it? Because, I mean, it's been a long time since I've made these. It's fantastic, man. Nice and flaky crust on the outside. It's crisp. And then inside, it's beautifully soft. And somehow, you did get them here warm. Like, you must have rushed over here. We did try and time it out. Those came right out of the oven. Right out of the I oven. Put them right in a into, container and just hit right the road. Right in my mouth. Um, yeah, this is delicious, man. So how, how, I don't know much. I've never made soft pretzels before. I've never even made bread before. I remember you mentioned, I think it was on the pizza show that you were talking about how you can make your own dough and you do your own homemade pizza with the actual bread and stuff. But I don't know much about it. Like, is it different? Do you have to use some type of special pretzel dough or mm. what do you do? Uh, soft pretzels, at least the way I make them and the way I think most people make them is, is very much so a traditional dough like a white dough. It's just white flour, salt, sugar, yeast, butter. Some people use milk. I don't really subscribe to that one necessarily. But what you do is once you put butter in the bread or do you, you just, you paint it with butter, when butter it in the out. dough and then you paint it with butter okay. as well. Um, but the, the trick actually lies in a step before you even bake it. It has to have what's called a baking soda bath. Um, hmm. Some people just put it warm water and baking soda. What I do is, boil the baking soda in the water, boil the pretzel. You have to form the pretzel first, otherwise you'll completely lose everything. And then I think to a certain degree, it, it, it restricts the baking process on the outside, and that's where you get that like dark brown color from. Hmm. But uh, that's just my basic understanding of the chemistry behind it. Hmm. Well, obviously this is not your first rodeo in making pretzels. So, and these seem to be the classic... You know, lightly buttered with a little salt. Have you branched out? Like I was even half thinking, I was just like, I wonder if he's going to bring some like cinnamon kind or or anything like that. Or We have done um, particularly the brown sugar ones. And I mean, it's good, but mm. for me, it's all about the classic original. Yeah. Just salt, straight white dough, and you get that crunchy exterior and soft inside. Mm -hmm. But I don't eat a lot of sweets, so it's not front of my mind to throw like literally the, the way it differs is you either do a tablespoon of 
white sugar with the yeast or brown sugar. Mm. And that's kind of where it differs. Okay. And okay. then obviously your coating, you would use salt or brown sugar cinnamon. Now, I, you know, like you've already alluded to, big fan of soft pretzels. You think obviously when you're going in the mall, the Auntie Anne's, uh, those are delicious. They also have those ones that will have like, you know, cheese on them, maybe some jalapeno kind of deals. I've even seen ones that have like pepperoni on them too. Um, I've also been to an Auntie Anne's early in the morning at an airport and they do like pretzel bun breakfast sandwiches. Ooh. Do yourself a favor. I, I love a good pretzel bun. Mm-hmm. So now what's your go-to if you've got, you know, dream world, you've got like a thousand. I mean, there's always that, that clip in the office where uh, it's pretzel day and then Michael gets to the counter and mm. what would you like on it? And then the guy runs through like an absurd list of toppings. Like he what would be your does ideal? Honestly, I am. I'm call me old fashioned, just a salted pretzel classic. I mean, it's one of those things where, especially if it's somewhere you haven't been before, you know, it's kind of like a good base test. It's like if you go to an ice cream place, you want to just get their vanilla and see if it's actual good ice cream or are they just covering up with crap? Or a first time at a pizza place, you want to get sort of a basic pizza, nothing too crazy uh, to really have a baseline and really be able to test the quality of the pretzel. That being said, I've definitely had some delicious ones that have had, you know, you can get them filled with all sorts of different stuff. Like the, I, I, there are some that have like the, the jalapeno, like the cream cheese deal. And of course, I, I, I was also half maybe hoping you might show up with some beer cheese. I, I, I didn't think about it till you had already left. And I was just like, oh man, we should have maybe looked up for like a beer cheese recipe. Because whenever you're at a brewery uh, and they have a soft pretzel option, I pretty much always have to get it. And more often than not, it comes with the beer cheese that they sort of make in house with their brew. And that can really uh, make or even frankly break. Sometimes the beer cheese, not so good. I have a, I have a really bad track record with uh, making beer cheese. So it's probably best that I didn't. It's, mm-hmm. it's one of those things that I just, I always end up getting distracted and then it'll like get that weird skin on top. It'll burn on bottom and it's like, ah, I ruined the cheese. Uh, my, I mean, I'm really weird about it. Like I said, I, I, I prefer the original, but if uh, if I need that extra salty kick, big fan of Dijon mustard on a soft pretzel. The mustard. In fact, JT mentioned and wondered if you were going to bring that mustard with it as well. I, I know that that is, that, that is a main go-to. Like a lot of people like mustard with the pretzel. See, I'm not a mustard guy, so that is a, a no-no for me. Beer cheese is about as adventurous as I'll get, but man, I can just scarf just down the straight up pretzel. That being said, and getting back to the, the Brews Day aspect of it, and this being a beer show, um, I, I've seen them. I've seen them at beer festivals, and I've also not seen them at beer festivals. And thankfully, had the fortitude to make them myself. When you have the the big pretzel, pretzel necklace. necklace, where you have, you know, like the little ones, the minis from Snyder's, but then every like ten of those, you put on like one of the bigger sourdoughs. And man, I tell you what. Bringing those to beer festivals, I've had so you get so many people come to be like, "Where'd you get that?" And you'd be like, uh, I, "I brought it myself." They're like, "Genius! You, this is this isn't your first beer festival, is it?" You're like, "Hell no, it's not, man. I know what's up." And that that is a great thing to have because it's something you could just munch on a great palate cleanser too between you know tasters. Like, oh, it's it's fantastic. It, if you ever hit hard times. You'll be like one of those uh, uh, people selling the counterfeit T-shirts out of the show. You'll just be selling your own pretzel necklaces. <laughs> I like it. Oh, and and they could. And they, I've been to places that do that as I talk with my mouth full of pretzel. But they are cheap, cheap as hell. And you could easily yeah. go out there and make them for like, some for like a couple bucks. People will buy it. I mean, people have kids. They could, and, and, go ahead, kiddo. <laughs> make some necklaces. I want you to count. It's learning, really. Yeah. Economics. I, I mean, yeah, there's there's no excuse not to have them. Mm. And, and you mentioned Auntie Anne's. That used to be my whole reason for going to the mall. It's it's the best reason about going to the mall. And, of course, yeah. there. I mean, that's the more famous one. I think that there's variations and others, obviously. Mm-hmm. But uh, they they know what they're doing, man. They make a damn good pretzel. 100%. And, and that's one of those, like, of course, when you're planning like your family vacation, you're looking to do stuff usually outside, out and about in the area. But it's always good for me, like when we go to an area and then we get there, we find out, ah, the weather is going to be rough. Knowing that there's a shopping mall with a pretzel store on the inside, that'll kill 
a few hours. Yeah, yeah, they can always do that, man. That's always a good go-to. Pretzels are fantastic, and we can talk more about them shortly. But first things first, as great as this uh, pretzel is in and, and, and all its glory, which, by the way, the pretzel itself is a five. I'll just go ahead and tell you that right now. That was, that was a damn good pretzel. I still have one bite left. But um, the Snyder's Beer. Now, I know that we've done, if not both of these, at least one of these on the show previously. I, I, I remember drinking them with Huck. I might have also just had them out in the wild at some point. But um, I know that the one that you're drinking... Uh, is one that Mikey over at the cellars keeps on stack. Like he, he's had both, but he said that's the one that really sells. That's the better of the two. Uh, now this one's the more traditional Marzen, which again, that's what you think of when you think of pretzels. You think of the more German style, a German beer to go with it. And honestly, they are complementing each other fantastically. I don't remember exactly what I maybe gave this beer uh, score wise before. If only there was a way I could find out, uh, perhaps using the Untapped app, which is the free beer app you can download to your phone. Drez Drinks is my handle. My man across from me is Big Nate Danger Horror Radio Show, if you want to get even more confusing about it. And I can look it up right now. Snyder's. So the one that you're drinking, uh, I gave. Ooh, okay. I don't want to say it because I don't want to affect your score. The one that I'm drinking, I previously gave the score. All right. Untap's messing up. Like, have you been having issues with it lately? Uh, I get to the point where it won't let me, like, click on beers. Yeah. It, it, I'm calling you out, Untapped. You need to fix this bug. <laughs> this is a problem. So I don't know what I gave it previously. But today, obviously, well, fresh it's, rating. it's going to be a higher rating this time because I have the delicious soft pretzel to go with it. I know that the last time I had this, it didn't c- pair with an actual soft pretzel. So... Uh, I'm unfortunately Snyder's, you're going to get a little bit of buff captain Lawrence, I guess I should maybe uh, credit them, but, uh, you're going to get a little buff courtesy of, of big Nate over here, but ugh. I mean, it is a good Marzen. It's decent, but it's the pretzel that really sets it off. So I'll, I'll give it a four, but that's, that's probably being a little generous. <laughs> All right. All right. That's fair. The, the Snyder beer pretzel fruit, which I, I mean, I feel like is a made up style. I could be wrong, but it's F R umlauted U C H T. I've never seen that before in my life. I think they're just being clever with it. I think it's a German. That might be the Is German it? spelling okay. or something, perhaps. That's possible. But uh, um, it's light. It's very crisp. It's 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 in my opinion, kind of the the perfect companion to a hot soft pretzel. Is a cold one of these uh, fruit, passion fruit, and gu- guava beer. Um, it's not necessarily going to stand up as well on its own. I think you pair it with, pair it with something like a pretzel or even I, I think this might have been good with pizza. Mm. Something with like a, a, a warm bread loaf. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 375. I think a fairly fair rating for the uh, beer here. That was more generous than what I gave that. See, I'm not a, does it have the sour S to it? I mean, it's list, isn't it no. listed as a Gosa or is it, what is it? Uh, well, I have fruit pulled it up on top. It just says it's fruit. Yeah. And it's I got, don't, so it's got fruit in it. So maybe it's not exactly a Gosa per se, but to me, this is a, it, a it's fruit a, beer. It's a very light beer that's flavored with fruit. Okay. So fruit beer. Yeah. That makes sense. I gave it a three. I did see that. Uh, that's what I gave it on, but uh, that's cause that's not my, not my Bread and butter. I love the passion for the little salt. It's not as carbonated as I would like. I think that's the other mm. other issue I'm having is it's very smooth, which is great with like a darker beer, but with a lighter beer, you kind of want that like refreshing kick to it. Okay. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break. We'll play a song. We'll come back. Uh, I think there might be more pretzels that need eating. And we're going to uh, venture off, you know, see what other beers might pair well with pretzels. We'll see how that goes as Bruce Day Tuesday continues right after this. Stick around. 